This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use some of the basic functions in the LEGO NXT software to program your robot. On your desktop or in the Windows menu, you'll see NXT 2.1 Programming. That's the one you want to choose. We're not going to choose the data logging software. So I'm going to double click and open it. You may be prompted when it opens to choose a country by clicking a flag. Choose the United Kingdom flag. You won't see it on mine because I've already created something. This is the LEGO software. This is your palette area, which you can't see right now because it has two prompts. And you'll see this pretty much every time. You'll see these two prompts on what you want to do. You can go through those. It's pretty helpful, but I'm not going to in this tutorial. Over on the right is the robot educator. This will teach you how to do many different things. You cl click on the plus, and then you it'll walk you through how to do all these different things with your robot. It'll give you tutorials right here. For now, I'm going to teach you some of the basics of moving. I've got my robot on. It's plugged in via the USB to my computer. If you want to create a new blank program, you just come down to this part, type a title. I'll type sample screen cast, and then you click go. If you have other programs that are open, like I have a move and turn program that I've already saved, you can open that up, and that's helpful once you've created some stuff. So I'm going to click Go, and it opens my work area right here. The way the program works is by blocks. And so over here, you have a whole bunch of different blocks that you can add to the palette to make your robot do different things. The ones that I'm going to show you here, the first is Move. And so you just click and drag it down. Once you drag it down, you'll come down here and you'll see a whole bunch of things that you can configure. These ports refer to the left and right motor, what they are connected to on your brick. Direction, forward, backwards, stop. Steering, C and B. So if I wanted to turn left, I would move it all the way over here. Or if I wanted it to turn right, I'd move it all the way over here. But I kind of want it to go straight for my first turn. Here we can set the power. Power at 75 is a little quick. I usually drop it down to about 50. And you can type over here or use the slider. Duration. So you have a drop-down list for rotations, but you could do degrees or seconds. It's really up to you. Starting out, rotations is probably the best because you can actually look at your wheel and measure how far your robot's going to travel based on the number of rotations. So I'm just going to keep this at one, and keep rotations here. At the end, usually break is what you want to happen. Once you have everything that you want to send to your robot, you can do two things. One. If your robot is connected and powered on, you can download the program to your brick so that you can unplug the USB cord. I'm going to download it. It'll show that it's compiling. And you can't see it, but on my brick, I can now access my program. I can also click this play and what play does is it immediately sends this program directly to the brick and executes it whereas download it just saves it to your brick so that you can run it at a different point so if i hit play it will actually download and run and you'll hear the motors begin to roll so there it is you can add other Things. Let's say I wanted to, after my move straight ahead, I wanted it to turn. So I added another block. I'm going to turn left. And 
I can now measure by holding one wheel permanently in place and kind of turning to see the rotations of the wheel to see what, let's say, a 45 degree turn might be or a 90 degree turn. Once again, download and save. You can kind of build your programs up here and that's really kind of the basics. Once again, you have the robot educator over here, which you can use as well.